Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda CRV 2.2 ES diesel. Uh, this particular car is registered DY58UNW, and mileage at the start of the road test is 146,959 miles. The reason we do these road tests is essentially so that anyone that's actually looking at this car online in an advert actually gets to see that car in operation. Um, it basically gives us an opportunity to let you know if there's any obvious faults with the car before you come and see us. Um, we know just how annoying it is to go and see a car which is described as good, only when you get there to find out that as soon as you drive it, you feel it's got an obvious fault, which had you been told, you wouldn't have bothered, go bothered going. Um, so that's why we do it. It's also done on these very quiet country roads, very close to our premises. So hopefully we'll be representative of what you feel yourself if offered a test drive on the car. As you no doubt know from the advert, and this is a real rarity, this car, in the way it's been looked after, because pretty much every single one of its services prior to the one we've just done uh, been done by the same Honda dealer throughout its life. It really has been wonderfully well looked after. And I have to say, it's absolutely obvious as soon as you drive it, because this doesn't drive like a car that's done the miles it's done. Um, it's a real testament to two things. One, just how well Honda build cars. But secondly, um, how well it's been looked after. Um, engine starts absolutely instantly. There's no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Um, and the engine's smooth, sweet, pulls absolutely beautifully. It, it said it feels like a car with a third of the mileage on it. It really does. I'll check the temperature gauge once we're up to full operating temperature because I've only just started the car. Engine feeds through clutch and into gearbox. Clutch of the car, absolutely perfect. Bite point is exactly where it should be. Um, and it's smooth and positive in actuation as well. Gearbox on the vehicle, obviously six speed gearbox on the Honda diesels. Um, and the gear change is just brilliant. Um, again, regardless of the mileage, it feels, again, just like a car that's done such a low mileage by comparison. Um, lovely snick snick action to the gear change, short and throw, uh, very precise and accurate, much more akin to a car that's, you know, got much more sort of sporty pretensions. It really is fabulous. As I said, I can't feel anywhere in that linkage at all. So in terms of powertrain the vehicle, all absolutely spot on. The steering of the car, this is a generation of car I've always loved because it's got still got the hydraulic power steering rather than the sort of electric power steering of later cars. So it's got a kind of a weightiness to it because it's not heavy at all, don't get me wrong. Um, it's still not light power steering, so easy to manoeuvre. But on the road, it has a, that lovely feeling that the car's just sort of sat heavily down on the road. Uh, I can't feel anywhere through the steering at all, by the way. It's just so precise still. Um, it you know, tracks dead straight. There's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel at all. Um, it, it just... Uh, it, it, it really does feel very, very tight indeed. Chassis of the vehicle. Um, Honda have done a brilliant job on these cars. You know, everyone knows you know, they're the world's best-selling. SUV with the, the, the CRV model um, and they've struck such a lovely balance between a very very comfortable compliant ride and very secure uh, composed handling so it doesn't pitch and wallow in the way some cars do um, which can be horrible to experience but this is just brilliantly done there's no noises coming from under the chassis that shouldn't be there you'll hear it hitting bumps but no sort of chatterings or knocking noises at all it feels incredibly solid really really does brakes on the car just wait till i get to slightly straight a bit give it a little thump the brake pedal's absolutely fine what i'm looking for is kind of signs of um kind of pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal of which there's nothing at all everything's exactly as it should be and also it doesn't pull violently left or right either looking around inside in here i mean if you want to know what real build quality is, and I'm not talking what motor magazines say every single time they drive the usual culprits. You know, the, basically, if it's a German manufacturer, 
you read build quality, but build quality is years down the line. There's not a hint of a squeak or a rattle or a buzz trim from inside this car, and it's done 146,000 miles. I mean, it just feels new. Everything's working on the dashboard exactly as it should. Every switch still operates with the same precision it did when it was new. Air conditioning's absolutely ice cold coming out of the car. Um, this, this, as I said, in my eyes, I mean, it really frustrates me because car magazines, every manufacturer can make a car with heavy sounding doors. You know, that's great. Or they give it soft touch plastics. But that doesn't mean that they're bolted together where they're not going to start moving around or fall off after years. And so this is, this is what build quality is all about. It really is. Dashboard, all the dials, all the pixelation is absolutely fine. Temperature gauge, now I'm up to full temperature, is running as a third, which is exactly where it should be on a Honda car as well, by the way. Um, cruise control, again, all working perfectly. This one does have a power hands free system fitted as well. I've not tried it. I'm told by the last owner it does work, um, but it's there and it, it, I believe it works, but I can't guarantee it. Um, the only wear I can find inside the car of any great note, and, it, and it's fairly small, quite commonly, around the top of the gear lever here with the leather, just a little bit of wear on the leather work there, but um, I am being ridiculously nitpicky about it because you know, this is you know, a very, very, very fine car. They are four-wheel drive vehicles, um, albeit you don't do anything. There's no buttons to press or levers to pull or anything like that. Um, because Honda, again, knowing their market as well as they do, know that the vast majority of people who are driving these cars, as with pretty much all of them, will be driving in perfectly good conditions um, on perfectly good roads as, as I'm doing today. Um, so why have the four-wheel drive whirring away? That's just parking sensors beeping, by the way. Um, why have the four-wheel drive working when it doesn't need to be? Because all you actually end up achieving with that, you use more fuel, you chew up your tyres, and you put extra mechanical stress through the vehicle. So basically, the way this works, very simple. If the front wheels start to lose grip, the driven wheels, um, the car senses it, and it automatically brings in the rear wheels to give you four-wheel drive automatically, and it's seamless in operation. It's absolutely brilliant and it's very very effective I, I tow a caravan with ours and I've never come close to getting stuck with it um, but it's in its simplicity gives it its reliability by the way because we've never so much as put a spanner on one um, it really is a, you know incredibly strong setup as I obviously pointed out at the start of the video the point of the video is is to be critical of the car but you know you'd normally expect on the car this age of mileage with us you know to have a few things you need to know about but there's nothing at all it drives absolutely beautifully it really really does i've got a 10 plate crv or my wife has with only 60,000 miles on the clock or just less and it drives no better than this and that drives beautifully as well so um having said that any questions you know don't hesitate please do give us a call